One of the most useful things you can have in the outdoors is cordage, or string to you and me. This is a piece I made from willow bark, and I'll show you exactly how to do it too. I cut myself a slice of time when the wind blows, when the river meets the sea. So what I've got here is a nice big bundle of pieces of willow bark. So the first thing we did was cut a piece of willow then we strip the bark off and it's very easy to do in the spring because the, the sap fills up the cavity between the bark and the wood and then the bark comes away, just peels straight off. So use the knife and very carefully cut down the whole length of the piece of willow like that. And then Once you get it started at one end you can just peel all the bark away. So that's, the, that's how the bark comes away. And then what we need to do is remove this, the dark colored green outer bark, and we're left with this pale green inner bark. And that's what Steve is uh, working on now. So once that's been boiled for an hour or so, it's gone very orangey here, because what we did was boil it in a billy can with some wood ash and a little bit of the outer bark as well. And that helps to give some resilience and flexibility to the fibers. So now we need to get these broken down a little bit more so that we can work them up into some sort of cordage. So get a little bit of what you're left with is this stuff. It's, it's still pretty stiff, but it's uh, as we break it up, get the fibers separated, it'll get very soft and it makes great string. So we need to keep working at that. Take a length like that. Just moisten your fingers slightly. Give it a twist. So I was twist clockwise initially, and then fold it back over itself. So that's what we we have. Looks a bit tricky to start with. You could wrap that around something to make it easier to, to begin. It's a little bit on the stiff side, this stuff, but it's still, it'll be very strong. So what we do, we've got to the end of a short piece here. So we get another piece running alongside the short piece. And then we just incorporate the two. So we need to trim those out. It should be quite a strong piece of uh, cordage. Okay, so what we do is... The, the whole reason this doesn't come unraveled is because of the way it's twisted. So what you do is you get your... You get two bunches. And the first one, you twist very firmly in a clockwise direction. And then you wrap that over the other piece. So you're twisting and then wrapping back. Twisting clockwise, wrapping over anti-clockwise. And you just keep doing that. And what's happening is everything's working to pull it together, so it won't unravel because these the clockwise motion is pulling against the anti-clockwise and that's what holds the all the string in place. So you just keep doing the same thing. And what we can do is when we start to run out of cordage one side and just add in new fibers so just put another piece alongside that you can always neaten it up a little bit later on twist it in and wrap it over twist it in wrap it over and just keep doing that until you have enough string to do what you want to do you could always tie tie one end off and just keep making it. Cut off the pieces that you you want to use, and then just carry on making the the old piece. So it could be a sort of self-perpetuating piece of string. That's probably long enough for what I need. Cut myself a slice of time when the wind 